This is Nona from TheAlignLover.com. I have another video for you in my intro to the Matrix Z style type series. Today we'll explore the natural, otherwise known as the athletic or soft yang type. Just for a little bit of background before we begin, Harriet McJimsey used the yin-yang spectrum to explore how physical traits and non-physical traits like voice and mannerisms and persona all contributed to creating the most authentic self-expression. So she gave build, height, and posture more influence when creating the overall structure or silhouette. Facial characteristics give more influence to neckline choice or details around the face. Personal coloring has to be strategically used to create certain themes or effects, and hairstyle, mannerism, voice, and expression all modify the overall look like accessories, colors, and textures do. In terms of yang and yin, the natural is still a yang dominant type. It has just been softened by yin, given more openness, more friendliness, less sharpness. So we still have that very statuesque quality from yang. We still have that strength, that sturdiness, that length. But now we take away that imposingness. We take away the sharpness by introducing a little bit of yin. As for the physical characteristics of the natural, the height tends to be above average. The body tends to look quite strong, muscular, sturdy, with broad or square shoulders athletic. The posture is either relaxed and casual or a bit more vigorous and alert, again, athletic. They have a very solid kind of posture. Their head tends toward broadness or length with a square jaw or a wide forehead. Their eyes are proportionate in size, friendly looking, slightly widened in placement, again, that is the softened young. Their brows tend to be straight, maybe a little bit heavy or thick, and best kept more natural in shape as opposed to overly plucked and groomed. Their nose may be blunt, irregular, or strong, and their mouth may be more wide, naturally smiling. Maybe their lips are a little bit heavy. Their hair is best kept casual in large waves, unset styles, basically anything that is not very groomed or artificial looking. Their expressions tend to be more free, easy, frank, open, friendly, direct, and their gestures are more free swinging, relaxed, long, large strides and movements. Their maturity is casual and friendly at any age, but extra mature. So as you can see here with our lovely natural examples, Candace Bergen, Ali McGraw, and Happy Rockefeller, they all have that earthy elegance and strength to their beauty. They have that gorgeous statuesque broadness and length, the gorgeous square contours across the face, that friendly, open, relaxed, easygoing expression, and that very free flowing kind of hair. As for natural costuming, their silhouette is best kept away from anything too tight or full and fussy. They need width for movement, fabric for movement, and lines that focus on ease, comfort, and informality while showcasing beautiful textured fabrics beautiful in them. The details that look great on them include plaids, abstracts, geometrics, herringbones, and larger size patterns, and textures are lovely when they are a bit uneven or irregular, matte, or rough. As you can see here with all four of the natural examples included in her book, um, their outfits are clean, simple, and they really showcase beautiful fabrics, gorgeous tactile details, without being overly fussy or delicate. There's this gorgeous, easy elegance to their looks. Here are some natural costuming specifics and some really gorgeous outfits featuring Candace Bergen and Allie McGraw. 
so much beautiful texture, wooden beads, raw gemstones, irregular handcrafted jewelry, a lot of patterns, embroidery, beading, rough textures, very open, broad, flowing silhouettes. It's all so beautiful on them. And for a more specific look at these items, necklines include sailor square necklines, convertible collars, large bows or ties, again, to soften any sharp, pure yang shapes and shirt collars. Formal wear is best kept simple, textured, double-breasted jackets are great, straight or gorge silhouettes are great. Gorge silhouettes are items that have been created using a foundation of trapezoid shapes sewn together. Jackets and belts, basically separate, look gorgeous on them. Textures, again, large, tactile, leather accessories like belts and bags are great. Fringe, wooden or metal buttons and jewelry, handcrafted jewelry, embroidery, coral, and hand knits, very artisanal, textural items. Shoes include Oxford boots, simple pumps, and stacked heels, and really gorgeous fabric choices include tweed, shantung, Irish linen, raw silk, jersey, double knits, and flannels, anything tactile or anything that allows for a lot of movement. So that is it for my intro to the natural style type. I wanted to stay very close to the source material in the series. In future videos, I will focus on more modern examples based on my interpretations of her ideas. Um, and please remember that you're probably more than one style type. You can resonate with multiple types. Um, so don't feel like you have to fit all of these essences 100%. That is very rare, highly unlikely. So I'll see you in the next video.